Uh, we're very lucky we've got three breeding pairs down here, so we're very lucky. But anyway, there's, there it is, there you go. Back to Spot. So yes, Spot, she cannot swim. Uh, she walks along the bottom of the water, she can do so at 15 miles an hour. Up on land, hippos run at 25. So if you did accidentally walk into a hippo's territory, I am sorry, but it is game over for you. However, there is a silver lining. They're going to spit you back out again. They are herbivores. They eat grass. The spot there, she is fast asleep. Very normal. Hippos are nocturnal. The only predator out in the wild is the sun because they can get dehydrated and get heat stroke. So she spends about 18 hours of her day fast asleep in the water. Obviously, she's fine here in Wiltshire, but she still spends about that time in the water. Yes, hopefully you will get another view of her on the way back. I'm pretty sure that's where she's going to stay for the rest of the day. On your left hand side, you have an island of monkeys. On your right hand side, we've got two little baby sea lions. <laughs> so yes, this is Baxter and Roscoe. Technically not allowed to be up there. They have full access to the safari park right now. Not that these two know that. They're only 11 weeks old. Absolutely teeny tiny. Baxter and Roscoe. So it's Roscoe on the left, Baxter on the right. Our two little babies. Both born here at Longley. First time in five years we've had babies, so we're very happy. But yes, monkeys on the left. Seven of them, four from France with traditional African sounding names of Cash, Kai, Kitwe, and Kavale. And then we got three from Belfast Zoo. They're three brothers. They are called Dude, Wee Dude, and Wee Wee Dude. <laughs> I know. They were named in size order. It made perfect sense by their keepers, and they did respond to their names, so we decided to keep them here at Longley as well. No need to change them. But yes, most of them on the other side, so hopefully we'll get another view of them on the way back. Because we are now entering the second half of the lake, which means we are entering sea lion territory. Keep an eye out for the adults, they are going to be found here somewhere. So there's five adults, three sisters, Molly, Bell and Ruth. We have also got another young female, she's called Ida. And then we've got one young male, his name is Memphis, and you've met our two little baby boys, Baxter and Roscoe, already. She has Belle and Rue, both first time mums, and they are doing incredibly well, as are the babies. The babies were actually born on this beach here. Uh, they are very, very adventurous, they like to swim all the way up to the, where we undocked the boat, they're becoming really good swimmers. But yes, it's quite nice to see it full circle as well, because Molly, Belle and Rue were all born on that beach, it was really nice to see them go back there, to give birth to their own babies as well. But yes. Those sea lions are going to come and join us, but I'm going to ask you to ignore them. They're as common as wet dogs down here. Uh, we're going to have a bit of fun with them in a minute. I can never guarantee you our gorillas. Our gorillas are the second fussiest animal when it comes to the weather. If it's too hot, too cold, too wet, too windy, we rarely see them. This is an incredible view of some of our boys. So, gorilla colony, home to four western lowland gorillas. This is our lovely dominant male, Keisha, uh, right at the very front here. We have also got his little uh, his brother called Alfie. We have also got two little black bats called Yuba and Sue Betty as well. So yes, Keisha, just at the very front here, that is going to be Yuba, fast asleep uh, in the cave there. You've got Alfie sleeping up against the house. Not entirely sure where Sue Betty is. That's that side of the line. This is an acre of land, there's lots of places you can hide, so I'm not too worried that I can't see it right now. Yes, he's just behind the tree right now. Um, he is our golden male, not because of the colour of his fur. His brother, Alfie, he has a silver back as well, but it's actually because of the shape and size of Keisha's head. He's showing it off quite nicely. Have a look at the top of his head. It is cone shaped. It's called his crown. It's an elongation of his jaw muscle, which means he has the strongest bite compared to the other gorillas. So that's what makes him the dominant one. Keisha, he has twice the bite force of a lion. It's absolutely useless here at Longley. His favourite food is yogurt. For Keisha at the front here, he stands at six foot one. He weighs 31 stone. His brother Alfie is sleeping up against the house. He's six foot and he stands, uh, stands at six foot. He weighs 31 stone, 30 stone even, sorry. And surprisingly enough, this is Gorilla Rush Hour. At least Keisha is upright and conscious, it's an absolute miracle. Very normal to see them doing exactly what you were and Alfie doing, either sleeping or just watching the world go by throughout the day. As they have such a high fibrous diet, consisting of nuts, fruits, vegetables and seeds, it takes a lot for them to digest. Ah, there's too many. There you go. 
this enclosure. You've got Lionel, you have Emma. That is going to be Emma fast asleep on top of the barrel there. I believe Lionel is just at the tree, uh, up the tree. I can just see make out a tail. But put myself, Izzy, your incredible driver, Steve. Thank you for coming aboard the Lady Lankers today. Enjoy the rest of your trip here at Longleat. Thank you very much. Wow.